What's up YouTube, it's Louis here. I hope you're all well. Wow, so what happened with VeChain is pretty much what we were anticipating because we were running into that golden pocket over here, which was this previous five month long accumulation period in this accumulation period, remember these pumps. So when we actually came down to here and we sent two cents over here as our higher low, I was pretty much telling everyone this is potentially our bottom because we'd met a big, big, big target. I had a big target measuring from here all the way down to this price point. And when we met this price point, we created a double bottom. So a lot of things were saying, okay, this can really be the bottom basically. The only thing that wiped that away from us was that FTX crash. Because if you actually look at the stock market from here, can you see crypto started going up? If you go check the stock market, stock market actually started going up from that day and continued going up. The only market that went down was the crypto market because the event, the external factor was of course crypto. It wasn't the second biggest broker that was a scam. It was the second biggest crypto exchange. So that is just crypto, nothing to do with the stock market or Forex broker. So it would not affect those markets, just the crypto market as yet. The second biggest, second biggest exchange being a scam. Some coins have already reclaimed them levels, got back up and invalidated at the FTX dump. Some have not like HBAR, like VeChain that we see today. And currently VeChain is hovering below this five month long support. The reason why I wanted to zoom into that area is because we saw this pump after such a bullish pattern, but this took much longer to go sideways. So you're building up this bullish pattern for a longer period, giving it more validity. And along the way up, you had your dips as well. The unfortunate thing is that it actually ended up being fake and we put in a lower low. What is scary about this time is that there's been no pullbacks, guys, no significant pullbacks, just straight lines. I've spoken about this on the channel in the past. I think it was early 2022 on Bitcoin where we had multiple days of just up. It eventually resulted in a dump and continuation low. I think it was like a 16 day pump where we eventually continued lower when it was a, let's actually go check that out guys. So you're not just clueless. <laughs> I'm leaving you clueless. Here we go over here. It was this pump over here and I was telling everyone, although we broke this high, which is our range high, 44.3 and down under here, I was saying if we ever break above that, this is going to be a long entry. It's just when we did break above that, we went 16 days up with no significant pullback. I'm not calling that a pullback, guys. Come on. That was like two days of down. So here, where are we? Oh, sorry. VeChain, my apologies. So if we go back to VeChain, well, that was, now you can see, straight line up. When we see this in the past, it's just a bear market rally. Even if it is a double bottom with a big pump up, just pumping into these resistances, you can see even if you slice through it like butter, we eventually fell through it because there was no pullbacks. So same here, here you even had a pullback and eventually went lower. Here, this is where we started pumping and honestly, I was starting to get really excited because yeah, we just done finished that five month uh, accumulation period. And so going into that fifth, sixth month, uh, heading up and then boom, out of nowhere, FTX is a scam, boom, new lows, finished. External factors come into play, crypto is finished for now <laughs> until we reclaim this level. Now we're coming up to this level where we've already retested it as resistance. So this is why we got this expected rejection. However, you're now respecting this previous resistance now support. So if you lose the 0.5, you go to the 382. It is as simple as that. If you remember in the last updates, we've been basically saying we want to take out uh, Saturday's high, which is that's what we've been saying on the 15 minute time frame when we're scaling down. We want to take out two, one, seven, two cents. If we're not taking it out, then it's not bullish. We're going to expect uh, lower lows because if we zoom in again, this is the daily time frame. So this is very accurate, guys. If you're on the lower time frames, on like the one hour time frame, you can have one, two, three, four, five. If you saw after this week, one, two, three. And then, yeah, during that candle four, 
you would have seen you have four candles not well let's just say three confirmation candles not closing above two where you actually were above and failing to close above so not bullish whatsoever you need to close above that wick to flip things bullish so yeah you could have sold on that or on that with stop losses above this basically or just above the 2200 psychological level so somewhere over here for a short back down to the fib level below the 05 basically which is the 382 actually hasn't tested it just yet but we did come very close to it we're not even on the 20 or the 55 so this is what we're trying to do even if we are bouncing up in the next couple of days could be a small a b c correction back down to here could be that yeah you do just stay at this price point it's just that when we come up a bit this might come up and then come back down over here test it double bottom maybe something like this so that's what we're seeing on the daily time frame now let's just scale it all down to the 15 minute make it a little bit easier but we had this golden pocket drawn because Again, from here, you're meant to push down, exhaust into it and continue lower. But we've been discussing on the channel, if we ever see the higher lows put coming back into this area of demand, it's going to reverse, hold it as support, confirm the reversal wave. We should now head minimum to the one fib level. Now let's put the fibs on from the high to the low. You see our golden pocket is the midpoint. And so when we hit this midpoint after such a dump, we need to go and of course, respect it as resistance to continue with our dump because nothing goes down in a straight line. As you see here, it looks like a straight line. Note, we need to reverse if we want to continue lower. It might not even continue lower. We're coming back down. Could it just respect here? Because that's actually what it did. Can you see you come down, you re reversed. So from here, you're meant to go lower but it came back down to this demand zone. Uh, it wasn't on VeChain, but I did take a short on Quant with this double top over here, back down to the low because I was yeah certain, okay, that is not a close above that. You got wicks here and that is not closing above those wicks. And the 20 EMA is below those wicks. And this is like a trend continuation thing. So if that's already below that and we respect this to continue down, then I'm pretty sure if the 20 is below that and I need to take that out to flip things bullish with this being below and pushing me down and keeping me down and it not being above that, then this should be lower than that. And so we should make a lower low after uh, this lower high being lower than that high. So you have your high, you have your lower high. We should now go lower than this low back down to this low. And that's a short that I took on quant yesterday. But yeah, go. Yeah, I'm not going to show you. This is VeChain. So essentially, you're meant to go lower but you came into the demand. So the same thing can happen here. Look, you're meant to go higher. Look, do you understand? So this is now a double bottom. So if this is a double bottom, we should go back to the top. We got back to the 236 fib. Now we're coming back down, back down to here. And then that's also support. Can we actually break it this time? If not, we're going back up to the resistance. So again, that's how these consolidation periods happen. Look, we went to the one fib level, but we didn't consecutively close above it came back down so we come back down to the golden pocket it's always the medium point basically guys this is the point of interest so we lost it reclaimed it so now we're going back up to the one fib level can you see that if we're not closing above it we're going back down to the golden pocket then are we going up above the one fib no if we lose the golden pocket then we're going back down to where there's loads of support two three six Boom, you fell through it and you're now flipping the 236 into resistance. So where we once have these double bottoms, could we now be forming these M patterns? So this is what we need to see going forward. That would make sense with today's update if we are going to push down, uh, uh, back down to the 382 fib down here. We can prepare for bearish targets, to be honest. So I will go from, hmm, yeah, technically, well, we'll do two. So... From this low over here, no, I'm not going to use this one, guys. I'm going to go put and do it from here. Yeah, so you can you can see it's already showing when we lost this and respected it as resistance. That was the other fibs two three six level, and so we can see that yeah, flip the one fib level into resistance, and we head to to these lower price targets. Well, you did it in the one candle, in a couple candles, you went all the way to the one six one eight went back to the one fib level and we stayed below. So it's given us another chance to go down to these targets and we failed to do so by finding demand. So then now we're heading back up to these EMAs. So 
as long as we remain below the one fib level it's going to give us another chance down to go to these price targets going back to the daily time frame let's check where this ends up being so that would be oh look at that guys look at that exactly onto the emas so yeah it could be that we're doing some a b c and then retest it to continue higher and then back into the golden pocket let's see otherwise yeah we do not want to lose this and make it ugly again and we don't want this to happen and we don't want this to happen because look what happens after lower low lower low and then look what happens after big pump up lower low so we want to come back hold that bullish cross head to the 200 and then still the risk of going lower guys so it's a lot to do it's good early signs if you guys want to start DCAing. It's the littlest amount because it's not 100% safe. Yes, some cryptos are doing better than others. But if the mothership Bitcoin decides to dump, doesn't matter how well your alts have done, they will get hammered. So it's all on Bitcoin. Make sure you follow the Bitcoin updates. Like this video. Get it to over 50 likes. Should be hitting 100. We'll push for that soon. Let's see if you guys can surprise me, but <laughs> probably not. But yeah, cheers, guys. If you want me to teach you, I have a course, mentorship, and a chat with way more uh, information. Thank you guys so much. Hit the link underneath this video for my Twitter, and that is how you guys private message me, Louis underscore crypto on Twitter, or hit the link underneath this video in the description. Peace.